In today's video I will show you how to install KDE Plasma in Arc Linux and also other applications from KDE, like KDE in Life, a video editor. This desktop environment is a bit heavy and might not be the fastest, but it is really complete and comes with a lot of functionalities. So let's take a look on how to install it. Of course, the first thing to do is go into my repository and here we are going to go to the period section. Here just click on the arc icon and we will see all the instructions. So let's go to the first steps and here we just need to copy the commands. We are going to paste them into Termux and we just need to wait until the process finishes. After this we are going to continue with the installation of Arc Linux. This process is very simple with pyroot, so let's copy the following commands. These commands are going to install pyroot and when the process finishes it's going to log in us into Arc Linux directly. So when the process finishes you can check that the terminal has changed and now says root at localhost. So now we are already inside Arc Linux. Then we are going to update the repository and upgrade the packages with this command. This is the equivalent in Debian to sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade, but in Arc Linux. During this process we will see some messages, but you can just type enter or the default option. So we are going to follow all the default options. Now we are going to continue with the installation of KDE. For this we have this section on the repository, so we just need to copy the commands. The first one is logging into Arc Linux, but we already did it. So we are going to continue with the second command. Let's install all the packages. Here again, just click on enter to set the default options and just wait a bit until the process finish. This can take a bit because it has a lot of different packages, but after the process finishes, we are ready to launch the environment. But before running the environment, I recommend you creating a new user. We are going to create a new user, in my case called Droidmaster, but you can change it with the name you want. And we are going to set a password for that user. With this command, just write the password two times, and we are going now to give that user sudo permissions, so you can execute sudo commands. Here, just we need to edit this file, etc sudo rs, so copy this command into the terminal, and once this open, let's go down until we see a line for the root user. Once we are here, we are going to write the command you are seeing right now, but with the username we just have created. In my case, droidmaster, so I can just copy and paste this. And we are basically done. Now we can check that everything is fine, so we are going to change to the droidmaster user and check that you can execute sudo commands with the sudo who am I. After that, what we are going to do is run the start script from my repository so we can see the graphical desktop. So go to this section in the repository and copy the command, but, but we are going to paste this command outside the pyroot environment in Termux. So now we are in Termux, not in the pyroot environment, and we are going to paste the command. This will download the script and we need to give it execution permission. So just chmod plus x and the script name and now we can execute it. For executing just dot slash and the script name and Termux X11 will be open. Now you can close this message and I will show you a problem that we can have with this environment. If we open Dolphin, the file browser, this doesn't work. We will have this error message and if we click on OK, the message doesn't disappear and the application froze. So just wait a bit and now you can terminate Dolphin. Another problem I found is that if we open the menu, you cannot search any application. If you type something, you will find this error message and if you click on OK, the whole environment will restart. I didn't find any solution for that, but please, if you find something, leave it in the comments and I will try to investigate it. At least for the file browser problem, I found another solution, so I installed Thunder, the same file browser that comes with XFC4, so you can open it. And this works without any problems. Another application that is very useful is Console. This is the terminal we are going to use in this KDE environment, so you can just open it and play with it a bit and check that everything is working fine. Here you also can install several themes like the CSH theme with Power Level 10K, but I didn't do any customization, this is by default. And now I will show you how to customize KDE a little bit like you saw on the intro of the video. So we are going to open the settings from the bottom bar, 
And here we will see a lot of different options, but we are going to go down until we found color and themes. And here we are going to click on get new and we are going to change the default filter for rating order. Here you will find a lot of different themes, so you can take a look to all of them and try to install some of them because there is the possibility that some of them doesn't work. But just try it. For example, I will install this. You can click on the install button and once it finishes, there is a use button. But this doesn't work, so we need to close this window. And after we close this window, we can click on apply. So select the theme, click on it, select everything and just apply. The process will take a bit, but after the desktop restarts, you can see the changes. So now we are going to just change the background. The process is very similar. We can just click on the desktop and go to the wallpaper settings. Once we are on the wallpaper settings, we are going to click again on get new and you can change the order for rating and start looking for some wallpaper that you enjoy. I just click on this and I select one of the two options that I had. And again, when the process finishes, we have this use button, but this doesn't work. We need to close this window and then we just need to select the wallpaper. And now we will have our wallpaper changed. Now I will show you a couple of applications and also how to install Chromium browser. So to start the Chromium browser, let's open console and let's write the command you're seeing right now. sudo pacman s and chromium. Here you just need to run from the terminal with the no sandbox tag, like in Debian, and you will see this message. You can cancel it, and you can see that now Google works. Try to look for some page to check that everything is fine and you have an internet connection, and you are ready to go. Now I want to show you that you have a lot of different applications from KDE, like KDE Live, and this is a very famous video editor. So you could download from the internet a couple of videos and edit them directly here in the peer root environment. I hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and share it.